Good afternoon and welcome to a place that is very special to us all in the Formula One community. It's the Hockenheim Ring, home of the German Grand Prix. Always good for a close scrap is Hockenheim. Think back to Alonso, Ricardo, Vettel as recently as 2014 and I'm expecting some more strong racing today. With average lap speeds of around 130 miles per hour, the Hockenheim Ring is a quick circuit with a lap distance of 2.8 miles, around 17 corners. The main DRS zone through Parabolica leads into the hairpin for the best overtaking opportunity on the track. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. It's Force India in pole position there, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Bottas, Perez, Verstappen, Hülkenberg, and Roman Grosjean, Sainz, Ericsson, Charles Leclerc, and Gasly, Hartley, Van Dorn, Lance Stroll, and Sergei Sorokin, Magnussen, and Fernando Alonso starts from the back of the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. This is our engine supplier's home Grand Prix. Let's give them a race worth watching. First position, front of the pack, Hamilton is behind you. The gap to the car behind is 3.5 seconds. They're on old ultra softs. Your pit window opens in two laps time, 31 laps to go. Virtual safety car deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. Virtual safety car is deployed. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Virtual safety car is ending, maintain your pace until the green flag, VSC ending, wait for green. Sergio is in for his stop. Green flag. OK, mind you don't get caught out on this set of boots. We have started to notice some wear. We should be OK for a bit longer, though.
We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Right, come in at the end of this lap. Complete, go now. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Quick tyre update for you, everything's looking nice and tidy on our end. Let us know if you start to feel any issues. There's less tyre deg than we feared, they should last a while. Your tyres and brakes are getting too hot, try and be less aggressive through the corners. Nice work, that brings you up a place. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. Okay, tyres still looking good, Nick. Let's keep them that way for as long as we can. Let's use some of this energy. Increase the ERS deployment. Caution, caution. The virtual safety car is out. Reduce speed and maintain a positive delta. Drop your speed, our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. OK, clear. They're on old softs. The time last lap was a 1.31.3. Okay, good work, great pass. Box this lap, please.
pitting this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. You are in first position, front of the pack, Hamilton behind. OK, the gap behind is 1.2 seconds. They're on old softs. Your pit window is open, pit window is open, 14 laps to go. That looked bad. Are you all right? Let me know you're all right. Go, go. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Hamilton is behind you. The gap behind us is 1.4 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tyres are two laps old. The time last lap was a 1.18.3. The time last lap was a 1 minute 17.5. Our gap behind is 6.2 seconds. They're on old mediums. The time last lap was a 120.3.
right tyre situation. We're good for the time being, but you are going to start to notice the wear, so make sure it doesn't catch you out. Degradation is pretty bad, the grip is going to fall away quickly. We're not going to be able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Absolutely awesome, just amazing, well done. It's time to present the top drivers with their trophies for today's Grand Prix. And there are a lot of people in the paddock very happy with this result. It's Force India on the top step. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. A strong race then for our championship leader. That's extended their advantage at the top of the standings. Moving on to the driver of the day then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, he had a great drive today. Somewhat unexpected maybe, but I'm going to go for Kevin Magnussen. Quick, clean and in control. It was everything you could ask for. On to the constructors then. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. Another team that will be satisfied with this Grand Prix is Sauber, whose good results moves them further up the championship. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season. I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top.